This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 6, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, Thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and storms and tempests and the flame of the iron fire. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, or Karkadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out right there. are under a flood watch this morning after four days of heavy rain. The National Weather Service is calling it a life-threatening situation in the Fort Lauderdale area. Our Manny Bahorkas is there. Manny, good morning. Good morning, Omar. We're at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, and behind me you can see exactly why they were forced to shut this operation down. There is water on the tarmac, but also back there, what resembles a lake right now, that's the runway. It is submerged, and the airport is not scheduled to resume operations until at least noon today. This area got more than 26 inches of rain in an eight-hour period. To put that into perspective, it's about 40% of their annual rainfall in just one day. Some South Florida streets resembled rivers Wednesday. I've never seen this much rain. Leaving cars either stuck, nearly submerged, or even abandoned. I see like 20 cars stall out, and uh, guys, I tell one guy, don't drive. Inundated roads force people to wade through knee high waters, some even plunging in just across the street. Now is not the time to be on the roadways. Authorities are urging residents to seek higher ground and stay off the roads. Look at these houses. You got. Rising water from the relentless rain swamped this hospital parking lot in Fort Lauderdale and flooded many garages like Andres Zicades. I've lived here for the last four years and as much rain as we get, this is, this is the worst I've ever seen it. Planes were grounded at Fort Lauderdale International Airport where nearly 200 flights were canceled yesterday. Many passengers were stranded and packed into terminals overnight, sleeping wherever they could. We're trying to get back home and they're telling us that the airport is closed and so at this point we don't know what to do. Overnight, the airport did reopen the departure area lanes to give passengers who were stranded a chance to get out if they wish to do so. But the headaches, they continue today. Broward County Schools said they would close for today due to the flooding. Omar? That picture behind you looks amazing, man. It looks like a boat ramp, really, instead of an airport yeah. runway. What's the situation there this morning uh, for residents? Is there any sign of relief on the way? Is this going to go away? Well, unfortunately, there is a chance for more rain this afternoon. The hope is that most of this water will have subsided by then, but it appears to be going down rather slowly right now, so that's going to be an issue. But there's going to be a lot of cleanup that needs to be done. On my way up here uh, to the airport, uh, not only was there still flooding on the roadways, but a lot of cars that were stranded and left behind, they're still littering the roadways as well. I mean... Listen, everybody says it rains for 15 minutes every day in the Miami Fort Lauderdale area. Right. But is have you seen it like this, Manny? You, you've lived there for a while. I mean, it survives hurricanes no. and rain, but have you seen anything like this? Yeah. I've never seen anything quite like this. I will tell you, I was in Miami when all of this was happening, and the rain was relentless there. But this cell just sat over this area here in Fort Lauderdale for so long that it did this. Now, mind you, as you pointed out, Florida, South Florida, we're used to rain here, right? But this was just uh, just a ridiculous amount of rain in a short period of time. I mean, do we, you, are, are people, like, do they get it? You know, in, in Texas and in the South, they know flash flooding, you, you stay away. But we still see pictures of cars and people trying to go through. Those abandoned cars, were those people who just, like, I, I'm not going to risk it, I'm getting the heck out and save myself. It, 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 it's odd to see cars stranded like that. Well, I will tell you this, uh, the worst part of the storm uh, where people started to get stranded on flooded roadways happened around the rush hour uh, time. Ooh. So many of them were just trying to go home from work and maybe they didn't know the water would be coming up that high. But once you get traffic 
stalled because there's a flooded intersection and that water keeps going up, well, people are going to get out of their cars, especially if the cars aren't able to turn around if they're rendered useless by the flooding, and that's why you have all those cars there just stranded. In Miami rush hour traffic is messy without the rain, but that's wild. Manny, exactly. be safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. The IRS is accepting return.